Good afternoon everyone, I'm Laku and it is time for the fifth video on this new player builds playlist. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna transform this this manual cold wave build we did in the first video and we're gonna transform it into a free auto battle build. Now the free auto battle and the, the different ways of using auto battle is something I have already explained in a video I've made a lot earlier so I'm gonna dis link it in the description, be sure to check it out. But what we're gonna do today is we're gonna modify the build so you can use free auto battle with the worthless class coin treasure. And this treasure, when you use it for the free auto battle, you cannot earn any gold from the monsters or the bosses killed during the wave. Which means we are pretty much gonna ditch every gold boost treasure and, I and thing in this build. Almost. We are gonna save some, so please be sure to stick with me until the end so you know which one to keep and which one to replace with something else. Let's start with the town buildings. Basically anything which, which says it's gonna give you bonus gold some percent. It's, it's something you wanna ditch and take something else instead. So we're gonna take the mine off because we cannot earn gold from the monsters. There's no point in having the mine in this build. So we're gonna take the hero guild. It's the best choice in here to boost the hero damage these 12 guys in your castle. So this means your free auto battle build is gonna be a little stronger than your normal wave build, your gold build, because you're gonna be able to take some more offensive things because you're, you're gonna ditch the gold boost, boost stuff. And let's go with the castle parts next. Same here, the gold castle gives you bonus gold plus X percent, so we're gonna take that off and now Depending if you have the Ballista or the Cannon Castle, take whichever you have on a higher level. I have the Ballista only here, so I'm gonna take that. The Cannon is at least as viable choice in this build. So whichever you have on higher levels, take that one. And for the Towers, the same thing. The Trophy, Bonus Gold again. There's no use in for this in the Worthless Coin free other battle build, so we're gonna take this one off as well. And now we're gonna take some tower. As I said in the previous videos, the other towers, apart from the Thunder Tower, they're not, not very very strong, so it's not gonna make a huge difference here. If you run Zero as your leader, be sure to take the Frozen Tower. But if you're not, not using Zero, like I have Thor here for example, it's, it doesn't really matter, take whichever you want. Which you have maybe leveled a little. The Barracks is fine. The rent is okay, yeah, fine. Let's just put the frozen tower anyway, because there's really no any any good additional towers at this point in the game, so This guy, the golden tree. This is this is the exception to the gold boost items. You wanna keep this one actually because this will actually work with the Gurtle's coin build. So every about three waves you will get the bonus gold from the golden tree or the bonus crystal from the crystal tree if you're using that promotion. This is something that's gonna work with your free other battle build so this is highly recommended to stick in this build. Uh, for heroes there's only one hero which boosts your gold which is the military band. So obvious reasons again bonus gold, gold plus 35 percent take off. And now we can take any offensive hero we want, or even Bishop, or little utility. Any offensive hero you have leveled and you wish to use. Let's take, this time, let's take the Flame Ogre, for example. Great area damager, great guy in, in early game and especially in later game for waves. That's it, our build is almost, almost done with this, so only the treasures are left. Again here, the gold bar gives bonus gold, we're gonna take that off. The golden heart gives bonus gold, we're gonna take that off, and same with the bronze piece. No use for that. Now the iron wheel, this works with the wordless coin of the battle, because it is not... This the colony, gold, colony gold is not wave based, it's it's colony based, it's time based, so it's gonna work work with the free auto battle build. So this is highly recommended treasure for you to use. Same goes for the whip, which boosts your colony gold. And 
for the golden pickaxe, which, which boosts your worker gold. Worker gold works the same way as colony gold. It's not dependent on the wave and the monster skills. It's only time-based gold income. So they are gonna work with your free automatic build. And for the last slot, we have to take the worthless class coin, obviously, because we are building this whole build around this one item. So that's, that's gonna fill our last slot. And now, here's what you see. This is the free auto battle build. I recommend it's almost the same as the gold build, but with the gold boost treasures taken off. And how do you use it? When you click the battle, you will see this little button here right when the battle starts. So click that and you will get this window open. If you have the auto, some paid auto battle time, you will get this window. Otherwise, you will get the shop window. If you have the shop window, just close it, and if you have this window, press here, and it will change to the free auto battle mode. And now you can just press start, and it will start using free auto battle for as long as you want. If the if the build fails to complete the wave after three defeats, it will stop on itself, so it it won't just repeat the one wave for all eternity if, if you're not strong enough to com complete it, so be aware of that. And a little warning, the, the fact that you cannot earn gold from monsters killed is gonna make you gain a lot less gold that you would be gaining with using the manual gold wave build or the paid auto battle build, so if you use this build too much, it's gonna make you weaker than you should be around the wave you are. Which can lead into trouble, which can lead into you hitting a wall and you can't proceed any further, so use it with caution. It's a great thing and you, you can use it for sure for a long time. If you remember for every now and then, you remember to do manual waves and you remember to watch the ads for some extra gold and you use your gold in a wise way and don't spend it on any unnecessary units. And you will be fine, but use precautions, precautions. The results are pretty much the same. Okay, our tongue archers were first this time, and the Alice again, a beast in these levels. And the Flame Ogre, as I said, he's a great hero for area damage. He's fourth with this build. Yay! A wave done! So, that concludes the free auto battle build. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and be sure to check the previous videos on this playlist as well. There's a lot of information about the build, builds and units in there. And I hope this helps you. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying with me and goodbye.